Men's basketball reclaims the top seed in the conference. Baseball and softball start the season off strong. And women's basketball snaps its losing streaks. All this and much more, folks, so stay tuned because I'm Will Oates. And I'm Miranda Fabian. And Seahawks, Seahawks Central, Central Sports, Sports starts, starts right, right now. now. Men's basketball did not disappoint during UNCW's homecoming week with two wins against Charleston and Northeastern. Freshman Jordan Talley scored 18 points against Charleston, leading the Seahawks to a 58-45 victory. Talley continued his momentum into the homecoming game on Valentine's Day against Northeastern, contributing 14 points in the Seahawks' 66-61 victory over the Huskies. Men's basketball has now taken back control of the top seed in the conference, tied with William & Mary, with a record of 10-4. With four games left in the regular season, the Seahawks look to finish strong and head into the CAA Conference Tournament with the momentum. Women's basketball picked up a pair of wins this week against conference foes Elon and Northeastern, pushing their record in the conference to 6-7. and seven. Nikwaya Teague led the Lady Seahawks this week with a career-high effort of 24 points against Elon and contributing 18 points in the win versus Northeastern. Teague was also named the CAA Co-Player of the Week. The Lady Seahawks' win against Elon marked their first road win of the season. Women's basketball will return to action at home Thursday versus defending conference champions James Madison at 7 p.m. Baseball opened up their season with a pair of wins this Valentine's Day weekend right here at UNCW. In a 7-2 victory against Richmond, Jordan Ramsey made his third career relief appearance and struck out a career-high eight batters while only allowing one hit in more than four-plus innings. The Seahawks followed up the win with a 4-2 victory over Ball State. But due to inclement weather, UNCW baseball was forced to postpone their next game in Raleigh against North Carolina State. Softball kicked off their season this past weekend with two wins and a loss, defeating Georgetown 5-4 and UMBC 4-2. They ended the Saturday doubleheader with an 11-3 loss in their second game against Georgetown. Freshman Sarah Davis took home her first win on Friday and finished strong with eight strikeouts in Saturday's game against the Hoyas. The Lady Diamond Hawks will next play in the Charleston Southern Tournament in South Carolina on February 20th through 21st. Men's tennis won its match on Saturday, February 14th against Navy. This continued the team's recent winning streak, which is now four in a row. Santu Leskinen and Christian Vanderberg were the first doubles team off the court with a victory of 8-1. Xander Vays and Andres Torres were triumphant in their doubles match, winning 8-4. Javier Restrepo, Xander Vays, and Andres Torres sweep the courts in their single matches. Head coach Matt DuBois is very proud of the team's performance and is optimistic of the group's developing collaboration. Women's tennis couldn't come through with a victory Sunday night in Raleigh against the NC State Wolfpack. The Seahawks' record is now 2-3 in the CAA Conference. Alyssa Ritchie came back after a 3-0 loss in the first set to beat NC State's Liza Fieldsen 6-2 in the number two singles. The Seahawks are using this loss to help improve their competitive edge in the future. Head coach John Ware believes this loss helps the team in the long run. The Lady Seahawks will next host UNC Friday, February 20th at 1.30 p.m. Tune in next week for highlights on more action from UNCW Sports. As always, I'm Miranda Fabian. And I'm Will Oaks. And remember, win, lose, or draw, it's always a great day to be a Seahawk. Have a great week, UNCW.